Number 55. Your ear is capable of differentiating sounds that arrive at the ear just one millisecond apart. What is the minimum distance between two speakers that produce sounds that arrive at noticeably different times on a day when the speed of sound is 340 meters per second? So basically you have two speakers, right? They're each going to be propagating a certain wave at a speed of 340 meters per second. And we're trying to figure out how far can they be distanced apart. All right. And they also told us that the, the time difference essentially, or delta T, uh, that we can hear these sounds, right? It's one millisecond, but that's basically one times 10 to the minus three seconds. So if we realize we're told the velocity, we're told the time, and we're asked for a distance. So how are they related? Velocity is equal to distance over time, right? Now specifically, we can think about velocity being equal to the change in distance divided by the change in time. Does that make sense? So now we know the change in time between the two waves, right? The difference in time is gonna be one millisecond. And we know the velocity of the wave. So can't we just calculate delta D, right? Or the change in distance? It should really be displacement, right? Maybe I should be more consistent here, but you know, tomato, tomato, basically. All right, so yeah, we can, right? So the change in displacement there is gonna be V times delta T. And all we have to simply now do is just plug everything in. So the velocity was 340 meters per second. The change in time was one times 10 to the minus three. And now the change then in the displacement or the, the distance between them is just this multiplication of 0 0.340 meters. And that's the answer. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this helps. Please remember to subscribe. Hit the like button if it helped too. All right. Thank you so much. Take care.